We've been talking about diet and food restrictions, particularly for singers today, mainly because of my morning cup of coffee. <laughs> and so I noticed that a lot of you want me to say concretely, eat this, don't eat that, no one should ever have this, no one should ever have that. Humans are remarkably insecure <laughs> creatures. We, ha we do this thing where we feel like in order to validate our experience, we need to see it replicated in everyone else. So if I can't have coffee, then no one should have coffee. It's the worst thing ever. You know, and it's like, uh, that's not quite how that works. Maybe you should not have coffee. That doesn't necessarily mean that she shouldn't have coffee or they shouldn't have coffee, you know? So here's the thing, weird flex. I'm a singer who can eat cheese. I don't really like to drink milk that much because I just don't, but I drink kefir sometimes, I can eat cheese, I can drink milk, I can eat ice cream, and I don't have any problems, I don't have any vocal problems as a result. It does not make me flimmy or anything, and I know that I'm not supposed to say that I'm supposed to say it is the it is the cardinal sin, it's the greatest sin of a vocalist, it's it's up there with, with murdering uh, innocent, you know, whatever, and it's just, no. Um, there's some research to suggest that eating green apples can be helpful for singers. But if you are super allergic to apples, should you eat them? N no. <laughs> One person's medicine can be another person's poison. Listen to your body. And also, shut up. Stop telling other people what to put in their mouths or not. The whole point of my coffee post was simply to make clear that um, if you're going to avoid coffee, avoid coffee for reasons that actually exist, not for made-up reasons that are baseless and groundless, you know? So... Um, listen to your body. When you eat something, if it gives you an inflammatory response, like for example, I have to be careful. Certain types of bread, I'll immediately feel like I've caught a cold. I will get like stuffy sinuses and, and my voice will feel heavy. And so I know what my food triggers are for my voice and certain things um, I either won't eat at all or I'll just like avoid on the day of, of a performance, you know? Um, typically, high sugar stuff is typically bad. Um, typically, highly processed stuff is not the best. All the stuff that you already know, but be mindful because even the organic, natural fruits and vegetables, depending on who you are, some things can trigger you. You know, peanuts. I know some people who are deathly allergic. I'm not. You know, so it's it depends on you as an individual. So listen to your body. I'm not going to tell you what to eat or not to eat.